Hello, this is Jeff Kornblis with EQ Technologic. I'm going to show you how EQ BMI acts as a loosely coupled middleware moving data between Team Center and SAP. We begin by showing a fully configured bill of process within Team Center, including operations, resources, and plants. In order to initiate the transfer, first step is to submit this to a Team Center workflow. First step within the Team Center workflow, it runs a report in order to validate that the bill of process is whole within Team Center. This workflow stops, gives an assignment to the EQBMI platform so that when it is complete, it comes back and advances the workflow naturally. This is sitting in a natural state and does not wait, does not propose a wait on the user in order to do this. The results of the report running will always attach a report to the bill of process so that you can see whether it was approved or rejected and the report appears directly on the object. Back to the workflow, we show it has advanced past and is now has a comment on the step. EQBMI wrote that the report was a success and moves on. After the design review has passed, the trigger initiates the transfer to SAP. This is the wrapper process which receives the trigger from the Team Center workflow. This process wraps all of the operations. It knows how to approve and reject the workflow. It knows how to publish the second process which will perform the action of moving it. This way if you ever want to transfer and change how the trigger occurs, for a chance by starting an SAP workflow to pull it instead of push it from Team Center, all you have to do is rewrite this outer wrapper process, thus giving you a loosely coupled solution. Back to the workflow, we see that the completion of the workflow advances the thread and the Bob has successfully transferred over to SAP. You'll see the same operations, resources, and tools listed in SAP. Our next use case shows what happens in, during a failure. First, we want to see if there's a problem with the bill of process before the transfer. We'd like to catch that with the report. So our report, can, our report makes sure that the bill of process is whole before the transfer ever takes place. In this case, there are errors that need to be resolved, and those errors are attached in the report directly to the bill of process. Looking at the Team Center workflow, even the Team Center workflow has a rejection which reports how many errors occurred. This rejection occurs immediately and it is sent directly back to the bill of process owner so that he can correct the errors without ever trying to move the data into SAP. In another case, if it does proceed past the report in a whole case, but there is an error within SAP, that error will be written also to the comments with a reference to the transaction ID, which you can go look up the error. You'll also receive an email. This email will show a well-worded error, which will allow you to read the error in plain text. But for those who have the knowledge of SAP to read any more complex error, you can, of course, click on the link to see all of the details of the error. When a failure does occur, you get to look at the graphical representation of your process and see visually exactly in which step your failure occurred. It shows you with a red exclamation mark on exactly the step. You can visually see what the process is. Even someone who hasn't created this process is able to read the process and understand what is going to happen, as well as see where the failure occurred. More these, the details of this failure were emailed directly to the owner. I hope you see how having a loosely coupled middleware between Team Center and SAP will improve business performance, allow you to catch errors while keeping both systems in sync. Thank you for watching.